pale vanilla lily one. A lovely flower and well shot. The image is sharp in the center, but perhaps a smaller aperture would have made more of the image sharp. I'm not sure we need all the area on the bottom and right, and I suggest the tight crop would move the flower off center and remove the bud in the top right, and most of the dark area in the bottom that is not adding to the image. An acceptance. A quiet evening. A beautiful scene with lovely reflection in the water. I thought it may have been printed a little dark, and I suggest increasing exposure to bring out more detail in the darks. But be careful not to overexpose the sky. Good composition with the larger tree off centre on the right, and balanced against the trees on the left. Good landscape technique with definite foreground, midground, and background. An acceptance. Cutie meerkat. The cuteness factor has uh, great appeal and these animals certainly have it. Well shot and good detail in the fur. A smaller aperture would have made the nose and eyes sharp. I would like to have seen more on the right to include the back of the animal. The speckled background is a little distracting. An acceptance. In amongst the redwoods. This is a lovely scene and the dark area on the bottom right gives the print a mystical feeling. The print seems to have lost some of its brightness and saturation and I wonder if a gloss or luster paper would have been a better choice. An acceptance. Misty day off. A beautiful scene of the boats in the mist. The boats are clear and the image has good depth. It may be an optical illusion, but the horizon looks to be tilted down on the right. An acceptance. Mr. R enjoying his dinner. Good close up of an elephant beetle with sharp focus on the head. The lighting looks a little flat and I suggest a boost in contrast and saturation to give the image more impact. Raising the camera a little would eliminate the grass in the foreground and would bring the rear leg into closer plane and make it sharper. An acceptance. No more bull. There is a real sinister feel about the image, like the bull is about to charge. The expression and the way he's holding his mouth want to make me back off quickly. The contrast is very high and some of the bright spots in the image and detail has been lost in the dark shadows. I would have liked to have seen more of the legs and hooves as they are getting lost in, at the bottom of the image. An acceptance. Outback art. The silo art in many places around Australia is amazing. The artwork in this shot is exceptional. But the question about photographing someone else's artwork has been discussed amongst judges. I suggest including someone admiring the art. This will give it more of a human content. This print looks a little overexposed and we have lost detail in the white clouds and on the right side of the silos. An acceptance. Ross Bridge 2. This is a great scene with the waters raging under the bridge. The lighting looks a little flat and I suggest lighting and boosting contrast to give the image more impact. A slower shutter speed would also introduce some motion in the water. An acceptance. Watching you. It has always intrigued me how animals watch you when you walk past or pull out a camera. This is a great example of this behavior from the sheep. The print may be a little overexposed as we have lost detail in the heads of the animals. I suggest re reducing the highlights and whites and boosting the contrast to give the image more impact. An acceptance. Charles. A great model with lots of character in the face. The eyes appear to be a little soft and I would suggest lightening the area under the brim of the hat to focus the viewer more on his face. I would also consider cloning a few bright spots in the top right of the background. Highly commended. Commissariat store. A fabulous old building with good detail on the bricks and roof. Some changes to the exposure would give this print more impact. Lightening the building will bring it forward and darkening the sky and adding contrast would give the image more impact. Printing on matte paper may be worth considering and perhaps adding a white vignette to give it an old print feel. Highly commended. Hayden's first swimming lesson. Cuteness always strengthens the image. The baby in this print is great 
Although the expression makes me wonder if he is enjoying it or a little bewildered. Another shot with Mum looking at the camera may have been stronger. Highly commended. Historic icon Broken Hill. An iconic Broken Hill scene of the old mine buildings. Good composition, but I would consider including more to the right if you have it. The colour saturation looks slightly overdone, and I suggest a small reduction. Highly commended. Quoll. A very cute quoll, and well done getting the animal looking at the camera. The subject is all about the head and eyes, and I suggest a tighter crop into a square to focus the viewer more on the head. Highly commended. Somebody do something. I wasn't sure about this image, and I looked at it for a while, trying to determine if the fish was pasted into the image, or if the bird had really caught it. Ultimately, I was prepared to give the maker the benefit of the doubt, and thought it was a great image. To improve this print, I suggest a little more contrast and saturation to give the image more impact, but watch for burning out in the highlights. And it highly commended. Weather looming. This print captures the mood of the impending storm. The movement of the water may be improved by increasing the shutter speed to show more texture in the waves. The lighting looks a little flat, and I suggest a boost in contrast. Highly commended. A great portrait and a good choice to print in mono and on matte paper. The eyes are sharp, but I suggest selectively lightening the left eye. I would consider removing the bright spots to the left of his head to reduce distractions. A merit. Garden shed. An interesting subject that takes the viewer back to past events in this old shed. The matte print is a good choice and the heavy vignette focuses the viewer on the shed's interior. Perhaps it is a little too dark, and I suggest lightening it a touch. A merit. George. A great mono portrait that brings out the character of the man. The eyes are sharp and on the third, and the background behind his head is clear of distractions. The white of the beard had lost some detail in the whiskers, and I suggest burning in that area and dodging in the eyes to make them brighter. And the beard. A merit. Mount Lyle number one. A great old steam image and printing in mono on matte paper is a good choice. Exposure, contrast, depth of field have been handled well with good detail throughout the image. A little more space to the top, right and bottom would have given uh, the train some space to move into. Merit. Not so incy wincy spider. Spectacular capture of the spider and good detail in the eyes and the fur around the face. Getting closer to the subject sometimes requires a smaller aperture to increase depth of field. F11 or F16 might have made the legs a little sharper. A merit. Bubble bath, anyone? A stunning scene with good colour saturation that comes out well on the lustre paper. Good exposure to show detail in the bubbles and shutter speed well selected for slow motion blur in the water. Well composed. Ticks all the boxes. Honours. Walkway number one. This is a beautiful scene with great detail throughout and the leading line taking the viewer into the image. It is a little dark and perhaps a slight increase in exposure may improve it. But I did enjoy the print as it was presented. Honours. Honours.